Welcome back to Shows GF NFL Week 9 recap. Oh, lots to get into. Uh, shout out here, got the old Steve McNair. Uh, Will Levis, 20 to 16 Steelers. Kenny Pickett still not looking good, but the Steelers, hey, still curtain lives on. They always have defense. Will Levis, you know, 16 points, not bad. You're facing a good defense. I like how he spins the ball, but it is early. I have no idea why DeAndre Hopkins and Derrick Henry are still in Tennessee. You guys like the fucking blonde white chicks? You like the pussy on the strip? I've been there twice, but uh, I have no idea why you guys want to rot on a shit team and not try to win. So good luck with that. That's a stupid move on your part to your agents. But either way, do you? Dolphins and Chiefs. I believe this game was, I don't know, Germany somewhere. 21-14 uh, Chiefs. Mahomes keeps rolling along. The defense is solid. And the Dolphins are kind of like the Cowboys. They just, they're not winning the test games. You know, every loss they have is against good teams. But they're knocking on the door. Good for them. 31-28 Vikings. Uh, Josh Dobbs. Uh, I, I, he's better than Kirk Cousins. I'd rather uh, roll with him. Dude's playing well. Uh, Falcons. Again, but this is two teams going over shit schedules. Next. 24-17 Saints over Bears. You should beat them. Derek Carr finally had a good game. But Derek Carr only has good games against shit teams. Next. Commanders. 20. Patriots 17. Mac Jones. These are the games you have to win. Just not good enough. But again, two teams going nowhere. Let's keep it moving. Uh, Packers 20, Rams 3. Nobody cares. Jordan Love, developmental year. Rams, they already won their Super Bowl. See, you're not going to get this on TV. I just cut to the fucking chase like I do with women. By the way, this other girl took her V-card, tries to chirp me about when I'm going to have kids and all that. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You're on my fucking channel. It's a privilege. I took your V-card. You didn't take mine. You're the dumb skank, not me. I'm the winner. You're the loser, okay? No, it works. But anyway... You can get an autograph for me one day when I make it for when I make it for real. So anyway, just wanted to get that off my chest. Fuck you. So let's keep it moving. You like that one? Out in the middle of nowhere. Thirty-seven to three Ravens over the Seahawks. Uh, I mean, you know, that's uh, that's an impressive one, man. It really is. But Lamar Jackson, I still don't trust you till you get to the playoffs. But solid coach, solid defense, good run game. They just pull running backs off the woodwork, man. I don't know how they do it, but. Yeah. yeah, I have to get that off my chest about that chick. That chick, I don't get it, man. She was so nice, lovely, dove, everything, and then you're trying to come at me? Don't come at someone bigger than you. Don't come after the fucking boss. I'm a Don. You're just a nobody. Go raise your kids. 39-37, <laughs> Texans over Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield deserved better. Defense didn't bail him out. Good for CJ Stroud. It is early. It is early, but it looks like they got something there. But again, uh, we thought we had something with Dak Prescott, and we still don't know, so... Let's not uh, overly uh, blow our loads on C.J. Stroud, but he's doing what he needs to do. He's flashing early like Will Levis. Good stuff. Who's not flashing early is uh, Bryce Young. 27-13, lost to the Colts. Just not generating enough points. And I don't know if they've given him the proper weapons, but he's still young. Let's see what he's got. Cardinals and Browns, 27-0. I mean, Clayton Toon started. Like, they have nothing. Cardinals, go get Caleb Williams and try to get whatever you can for Kyler Murray. That's your best bet. Where are we here? Okay. Okay, okay. Raiders, 30-6 to over the Giants. No Daniel Jones, even if they had him. I mean, my God, the Giants, they're another one. Uh, I hope they don't get Caleb Williams because I don't want them to turn things around. The Raiders, they're another team. Uh, this is a meaningless victory. You should have won. I know Antonio Pierce is a new coach. Good luck. You're going to need it. Uh, Sunday nighter. Bengals-Bills, heavyweight matchup. Josh Allen. And you know what? This one's for my boy, Joe. Big time, uh, this guy rents his Dax nuts. I don't know how else to say it, but uh, much love, brother. But, you know, if, uh, if I'm going to say Dak is tier two, I got to give it to Josh Allen. Josh Allen, he's, he's, I'm demoting him to tier two. I need to see something. I need to see something in the playoffs or down the stretch. Uh, you, you lost your fastball. You've lost something. You're not generating enough offense. And you have all the same weapons. And you added Kincaid, who had a bad fumble. But still, uh, Cook got better in the backfield. You, you brought Latavius Murray. You brought in Leonard Fournette. I don't know what's going on, but the offense isn't good enough. And their defense, without Milano and without the Tredavious, what if Von Miller came back, missed a bad tackle there, but it doesn't matter. Their defense is holding it down with two big-time guys out. And we're talking about, like, Pro Bowl players. So this is on Josh Allen, the offense, and he's got to wear it. But it is a long year, but he deserves the criticism. He's just not been good enough this year. And the Monday Nighter, another snooze fest. Uh, what's with all these New York games, but it's, it's the market. We get it. Chargers 27-6 over the Jets. Zach Wilson sucks. Uh, Garrett Wilson would be so much better if he had um, if Aaron Rodgers, and he's still making plays. But, again, uh, Justin Herbert, another guy. I got to see more from you. I got to see it in the clutch. 
you're beating teams you should beat, but you never beat quality opponents. And I want to leave with this. I know this isn't the Dallas Cowboys segment, but exciting news, guys, in Dallas land. We got Martavis Bryant, who's probably been working at Popeyes for the last five years, out of football. Jerry Jones, you're a fucking joke. Now, is it no risk, that low risk, low reward? I get it. But really, instead of trying to get a guy off some shit team who's actually playing, we go get a guy who's been out of football for five years. Jerry Jones, ego, unhealthy ego, brother. You have to get guys on real NFL teams that are in NFL shape, been studying NFL film, not out of it for five years doing God knows what at fucking strip clubs or whatever he's doing. Do I know that Martavis Bryant's doing that? No. Am I stereotyping and generalizing? But yes. But go check out his track record. And he looks the part too. So, but if he can do that nice through the leg, whatever, the, the playoff touchdown, the Steeler fans know what I'm talking about. If he's got that, great. But this guy's probably not going to do nothing. And Dak still hasn't figured out how to use Gallup and Cooks yet. And McCarthy. So, not writing another guy in the mix. Good luck with that. Moron.